right, what's going on? Today I've got some WK2 uh, Rough Country tow hooks. So these came in. I was pretty stoked that Rough Country came out with an option that was less than $200. Um, the quality out of the box, they're heavy. I don't know, they probably weigh like 10 pounds each, maybe eight pounds each, they're pretty heavy. Um, they seem fine, um, nothing special. Um, other reviews on Amazon said that the uh, packaging could have been better because they were chipped, which is the case. Each one of these is chipped. Um, that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I don't really care. They're going on the front of my Jeep and they're gonna get rock chips like the rest of my Jeep. So, um, it's fine, I don't care. I like them, they look nice. Little RC. Uh, these arrived to my house uh, with no bolts. So, uh, I was left kind of with no way to put these on. I called Rough Country, they sent me bolts. It took two days. I talked to them two days ago. The bolts are here today. So we're going to go ahead and get these on. Let's go. So before you can get to this uh, spot, you need to take off the seven half turn connectors that connect the lower fascia to the uh, top part of the bumper. Uh, what you're going to need is a 17 millimeter uh, socket. You're gonna need it on an extension or just like a deep socket, uh, obviously a socket. And what I did was I put the one in the front of the Jeep on first by hand without the ratchet on there um, just so I can like get it started, get it on. So the passenger side was very easy to do, the bolts were easy to access. Uh, as I said, the uh, bolts for the rear part of the driver's side hook uh, is right in the way of the reservoir. So this was pretty tricky. I had to take a couple parts off in order to get full access to the back bolt. It wasn't a big deal, but it did slow me down a little bit. thing uh, this little reservoir is in the way as well as this uh, cloth under protection um, so you're gonna need a is this a uh, 10 mil of course you're gonna need to take this off so you can get your hand back for this back bolt it was kind of a pain in the ass to get to um, but I got it on it's just uh, tricky you take your time don't want this falling off and then I'll reattach this cloth felt thing, I don't know what that's called. All right, and I was also reading uh, on Instagram and YouTube, a couple people said that these uh, little tow hook brackets uh, were not pop outable on theirs, while well, mine snap right out. Um, I'm not sure if that's a year model make, I don't know what the heck that's why some people had to replace this whole little lower unit when mine are just pop outs. Those are out. All right, well, let's get this back on. I want to build one of these now, so we'll see what happens.
There we go. Back on. Toe hooks are on, exposed. They look pretty good. Can't complain with that. Now I just gotta reattach these seven little uh, half turn pins. These will uh, secure this back on. There we go, I'm pumped. Let's go. And if there's anybody curious about, <laughs> don't mind my dirty Jeep. Um, if there's anybody curious about, you know, what do they look like on there? Do they poke out the front and nope. They have like a close to stock appearance. Um, I kind of like how they poke out again. This Jeep did not come with them, so I do not know for sure if this is what they look like on the stock ones, if they poke out that much or not. No idea, but I like them. They look good. Straight on, straight on. Ah, oh, awesome. I'm pretty stoked for this. Let's go.